<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. Church Brewing Company. So, I've been looking forward to this one. This is their St. Clarence, their wheat beer. Comes in at 5% ABV. We've done our first order from them, didn't we? Yeah, we did indeed. Some we interesting are, stuff. Yep, some interesting stuff. There's some other stuff to come as well from the brewery. There is a brief bit of um on my other unboxing video. Um, yeah, this comes in at 5% ABV. We are hopefully meeting up with them and going to do a short interview with some beer testing at Brew London on the 5th of May. Yeah, May. that sounds right. Sure, <laughs> right. In the can, as you can see, the can looks impressive. Yeah, there's some nice artwork on there. Yeah, I did mean to have the other range set up, but I've been getting in such a mix <laughs> of everything. I do like the glass. They're not so keen. They're currently replacing them, aren't they, these? Yeah, they, yeah, they said they're going to do a different um, different type of glass, but oh, this one looks quite nice. I, I think I it'd like be them. a new created one, but yeah, maybe. Vise and beer, as a lot of you know, you don't really. I mean, there's enough knife in there, isn't there? Mm. But it's how long it it remains intact, isn't it? Is probably what they're looking at. There you are, proper German bun. That's oh, looking good. It smells absolutely lovely. It actually smells. Spot on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Proper exclusive German head. Right. Everyone, we better do a picture. I was going to say that. Let's get this a little bit closer here. There we go. And like that. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm always excited. There we go. So, let's show you this can. That's what we've got. Yep. And of course, again, it's another. British company, East London, of course. Now look at that. That is really beautiful colour. Lovely and hazy, lovely big, nice creamy head on there. Yeah, it's really it's quite thick as well as yeah. the head. Really, I really do like them when they're like that. Um, 2.2 units this has got. There's a lot of lovely fine carbonation coming up through that glass that I can see in there. That, that really does look very good. Yeah, 440ml can and it's pepper. As they say, if I'm getting that yeah. correct, I do. Ha, 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 yeah, let's just say it's a wheat beer. That's, when it says wheat beer at the bottom, that's much more simple for me. It makes it easier, doesn't it? I'm always really impressed when um, British company attempt to do a, a vice beer, wheat beer, because they are very difficult to compete with the Germans, who obviously are brilliant at it. Yeah, well, at least on a, the head brewer. I've seen a, a few things. He's done a, a Helly's as well that we've got. A sour, yeah, that would be interesting. As well as a Brew Dog collaboration and some other things. So, that, yeah, there is a, a lot of interest there. If I smell that now, that does smell like have you. The difference with the American one yesterday, you weren't getting the, the spice, you're getting the spice there. You're getting fruits. Is that mm. banana? Is that yeah, the, I'm white picking banana? up banana. I'm picking up a zestiness there. Yeah. But that's surprisingly. A little bit bready and yeasty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this. Go on, you go first. Oh, there you go first. No, you know. He <laughs> <laughs> knows I don't like getting through the fluff of the head. nice that's pretty good that's exactly what i thought that's why i kept quiet a little 
little bit more lively than what you would get with a, uh, a lot of ice beers. A lot of Armenian coins. Yeah. Um, but that isn't actually taking anything away from it. Because of the flavours that are in there, you have got banana. I am getting a real zestiness in the there. Lemon. Yeah, definitely get the um, on the front. Which is it is really nice, really refreshing. It's it's carrying, isn't it? Yeah. From the start. Um that's a lot better than I expected. Mm. We, I mean I'm, we haven't been fortunate enough with a load of English ones, have we? I I just feel that, that it's really hard for them to come up to standard compared to the German offerings, so that's what makes it difficult before they even begin. It, it, it's difficult for them to compete. Um, we did it once. And it Second was, time didn't work. <laughs> it was absolutely rubbish, but there we go. Do you mean the first time was all right? What was wrong with the first time? It was the second to take the nose. No, this, this is top draw. It's creamy. It's very smooth on the mouthfeel. I, know, I get where Michelle's saying that there's that extra bit of carbonation. It is carrying it well. And it is working well because it has got the zestiness there, hasn't it? And that yeah. carbonation works well with that. You are getting the banana. You are getting that clovey taste Definitely, there. Yeah. And you are getting lemon, as it shows on the front. Lemon, zesty, whatever way you want to go about it, you're definitely getting that in it. But it's not overpowering the lemon. It's like it's sitting it, yeah. behind it, the mm. banana, if that makes sense. It's kind of... It's giving it a refreshing kick. This one... Mm -hmm. When the sun's out, remember yeah. in their tap room you can get it on draft as well. So oh, I'm sure that'd be amazing. That would, yeah, that's definitely worth a try. Because it's always that little bit better mm. when it comes out the draft pump, whether it's the atmosphere, whether it's what I don't know. But yeah, this is a definite yes. Um, as I say, I was sceptical with this one, wasn't I? And I said I'll try this one first. Yeah, like I say, you you always a little bit oh. It, 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 <laughs> Is it going to live up to that expectation? Because it is a hard act to follow when you're talking with the German ones. Um, but I think this really carries it off. I it's think it that. does well. What I like about this as well, I keep thinking, what would you compare it to? What would you compare it to? I keep mm. thinking, because the first thing anyone's going to say to me in a beer group is, yeah, but what's, what's, it, what's like? it like, Paul? <laughs> when it's like, it's just got that, it's own taste, doesn't it? Yeah. Because of that lemony bit, mm. I mean, the lemony bit goes towards things like Blanc. Yeah, that's, do you know what? That's what I was thinking of. I don't know, I was thinking it, of us. It was, um, yeah, that is in my mind. Although this is this is a little bit fuller on the mouthfeel than the Blanc. It's, it has got a bit more breadiness to it. I think it's got more depth than the Blanc. Mm. And I think that the lemon, it, ca it carries the lemon better yeah. than the Blanc. But... It's easy said when you sat here with one. I've got a blog over there, so who knows? It soon. might be, yeah, it might be worth trying them against each other, might not. But yeah, um, well impressed. Much better than I thought. As I say, I didn't hold out a lot because I've had a few English ones, as a lot of you know, and a few American ones that really haven't cut the mustard, you know, and it's really hard, especially when it's a UK brewer. There's a lot of you that know me. You know. really want them to be nice. You really want them to be something you want to go back and drink again. Yeah, there's a couple of reviews we scrapped over time because I'm not sitting there mm. panning people that are doing the job just because I don't like it. Other people have liked it. Mm. And that's quite important to us, isn't it? Yeah. But this is yeah, a yes. Good. Yes, all day that long. Is a good, it's um, a good yes. I would definitely drink it again. Okay. Well, I will do. I've got another five to mess around with yet. So, so it's good that it's actually nice and very drinkable. Um, it comes to the ratings, this is this is good. Oh, I know what I want to rate this. But everything <laughs> like. I've tried since I've been back home, I have given an eight. This is a rate my beer of eight. I'm giving it an eight. It's good. It's up there. I want to drink it again. Um, yeah, so it's another eight. You're just getting eight I'm all just, the way along since I've come back. <laughs> I'm just agreeing with her. She's in charge. Which actually, you know? that's a really good thing because eight is a really good solid review. It's a it's, good beer. I'll tell you what. So it proves we haven't been um, having much rubbish since we've been back. Yeah, we've been really lucky. And this mm. was just coincidence. It was just, I always think of um, living up in Blackpool in the 90s in the East End. And I decided that I liked, um, what do you call it? Rather than take that, I ended up a Robert Williams fan, as you all know. But I, end, I, I decided I liked E17 because they were from... Um, East London and then I saw this um, Hackney Brewing and the reason I contacted them was because they came from the East End so yeah. that was it and they had a Weizen beer which I never expected which is absolutely amazing I think we can talk to people about yeah, this on I, 
Why isn't it Wednesday? I think you've done a good job there, guys. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> Can I say? Like the video. Yeah. You know. Don't like Let it. Let us know if you've tried this. I'm not, yeah, if you haven't and you're into your wise and beer. Give it a go. Definitely. I say, um, in the near future we'll be doing, I think we've got about another five or six of their brews to do. Yeah, really looking forward to that now. So yeah, thank you. Bonjour. <laughs>